Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 24 projects coming out to you all the way through and into Christmas too, a week we're into now. And we have been for a few weeks, so go back and look at the ones you haven't seen. Keep going for some more to come. Today's project is this one, and it's a little table favour bag. I thought this was really charming, and it would just sit on the table and it wouldn't take up too much space, because you can see it's quite narrow. Um, and it would sit just nicely on the table. You've got your plate and your cutlery and your glasses and all of that sort of stuff around and then half a ton of food probably on the table. Little gift bag. Great size that you could put a little treat in there, maybe you could put after dinner mint, something like that. But I'm going to show you how to make it and it's lovely. I really like this style of bag. I like how easy it is to make and I've kept it simple with the black and the white and then I've just added the pop of colour on the front so you could do a neutral tone on your table and then add a pop of colour just to match maybe your decor in there. Right, so you need a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a quarter by five and a half because yes, you can get two from a sheet of cardstock. So I've got my thick whisper white um, here, which I love. I do love this one. So you need to take it down to five and a half inches. If you work in metric, it's 21 by 14 centimeters. Now I know my cardstock is, oh, I need to push a bit harder. Is already eight and a quarter. If you work in eight and a half by 11, Maybe also eight and a half. So you need that. You also need some designer series paper for the front that measures two and three quarters left to right and four and a quarter tall. So that's seven centimeters by 11. So make sure that your musical notes read the right way. I've obviously gone a little bit different this time. Um, actually, I might go with this way around to see what it looks like as different. So what length did I want? Four and a quarter. Oh by two and three quarters so I'm going to nudge that up slightly because I want to I know it says three inches there but I want my notes to be like that I don't want an edge piece there we go let's have a look see what that would look like on the white I think rather lovely okay let me get my simply scored and come back to my cardstock. So on the long side, you need to score it at uh, one, four, five and eight inches. So that's one, four, five and eight inches, which in metric is two and a half, ten, twelve and a half and twenty. Turn it round and score it on the short side at one inch, which is two and a half centimetres. Please don't worry about writing anything down. It's all going to be on my blog. Click open the description bar. You'll find a supply list of all of these things, but also the direct link to this project too. Okay, so burnish your score lines. Like I say, this is thick whisper white. So you have to show it who's boss that little bit more. So that's going to come around and form the back. So I want to get my designer series paper on. So this short tab there, it's either going to be a quarter of an inch or half an inch if you're um, in North America. That's the back. So this is where you want to put your panel. That's going to slip on the front just like that. So grab some fuse. Make sure you're... Make sure your word, your uh, musical notes are the right way up. Always useful. Okay. So bits to trim away. I'll, you need to mitre the edge of this top bit just a little bit. And it just gives that nice, neat, professional close. Get rid of that little tab. And then these parts here, because it's quite a small bag, you need to wedge in a little bit. There. And there. And there. And there. Okay, now we've done this bit. I need to put some score lines down here, as you can see. So I wanted to get that bit cut and my DSP, particularly that one there, done. Okay, I fib, I didn't. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but it is useful to know where this one stops. So that goes up an inch. So as you can see on my scoring tool, I've got a ruler on the vertical side. It is only in um, 
imperial obviously we have the metric plate as well but you want to come up roughly to well, yeah, up up about an inch and a quarter put your finger there and then score down at the half inch mark and then the same over here at the four and a half inch mark whoopsie daisy don't jump like i've just done um in metric that's going to be one and a uh, one and a quarter inches and that's going to be uh, 11 and a quarter one and a quarter and 11 and a quarter and that will just help give you a pretty close right so because i've only got quarter of an inch here i want to use my tear and tape and i will give you some tips with it as well because tear and tape is actually wider than a quarter of an inch you can possibly just see that so because it's double sided and it's super sticky once you've got the backing off you can fold it back on yourself so i've got a little bit sticking out there fold it over and then come and get hold of all of those parts and it no longer sticks out and it's just the perfect width so that's in there fold in the two sides and the back obviously we know this is the back because it's plain pinch those in and these side panels now when you poke like that will close neatly lovely huh right I've got two clothes pegs here because I want to get some ribbon round but I might not need it actually I've got this um, this is comes as a pair so you've got the mini tinsel in silver and in red. You can see I haven't even started the red yet. Oh, it's outrageous. And I'm going to come around three times. Oh no, I don't see. I don't need it, do I? Didn't need the clothes pegs after all. Oh, all that piece of paper. And then down towards the bottom is where I decided to put my bow. But you can put yours at the top, bottom, any way you fancy. This is probably going to be all upside down and all over the place. Sideways, apparently. <laughs> Painful. There we go. A sideways bow. Most attractive. And then I've got some scraps of Whisper White. I've got my stamp set. I love this. Merry Little Labels and I want the just for you. Or maybe I should go with no peeking. Oh, I think I'm going to go with no peeking. Change my mind. And why not? And obviously this pairs with this lovely everyday label punch. So absolutely perfect. Bermuda Bay this time because we want the Christmas only be red and green. Let's make it pink and blue. This one was Melon Mambo. That's quite a juicy ink pad. Need to let that dry for a minute. No, my luck, I'm going to smudge it. And then that everyday label punch is perfect. Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it was going to leave some ink. Only a tiny little hint of some. Oops. Oh, far too many there. A couple of dimensionals. Onto there. And just pop it up. And then to finish... Oh, wrong one. Actually, these ones. These are the Christmassy colour, but I wanted the silver. These are the ones that are in the current catalogue. Mini gift bows. I think these are called Christmas mini... Oh no, season of Blitz mini bows. I want the silver, which is down at the bottom. And these, much like tear and tape, the backing hates me. It doesn't ever want to come off. My job like this with full size gift bows. <laughs> Never get the back off them either. That on there. Cute, cute, cute. Quite like it in the white. I think I like the black best of all. Um, but I think rather lovely. And like I say, on a gift table, on a Christmas table, when you are laden down with food and cutlery and napkins and glasses and everything, they aren't going to take up too much space. Look at that tiny. It's only an inch. 
It's an inch by three inches. Inch by three by four and a half. Marvellous. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.